Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, is string a primitive data type in Java? The answer is no. Then what is string? String is a predefined class in Java. It's not a primitive data type. It is a predefined class. Though the usage of the string in Java looks similar to how we use the primitive data types in Java, we should not get confused like string is also primitive data type. Okay, most of the people okay, who learn Java think that string is also another primitive data type in Java. But in Java, we only have eight primitive data types starting from byte, short, int, long, float, double, cat, boolean. These are the only eight primitive data types we have in Java. And coming to string, though its usage looks similar to the primitive data types, but don't get uh, confused uh, that it is a primitive data type. Instead, it is a predefined class. Okay. A predefined class that Java developers have already developed for us as per, and they have given us as part of the Java library. Okay. Spring is a predefined class in Java, okay, which is already developed by the Java developers, and ha they have given this predefined class for us as part of the Java library. But uh, the usage of the string class looks similar to the primitive data type. So most of the people get confused here. Okay. But it's not a primitive data type, it's a predefined class in Java. Let me show you practically what I talk and what I explained so far. So for that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and create a new class. I'll just name this class as class D uh, with some main method, etc. Okay, some random class. Here, I'll show you how the usage of the primitive data types will be there in Java. Like for example, byte A is equal to nine. Okay, then short is another primitive, byte is one primitive data type and the next primitive data type is byte, uh, uh, after byte is short, let's say. So 121, then I'll go with the next primitive data type that is inch, which is where I can give a bigger number of integer value. Then we have long, more bigger value I can give, no, without any problem. Okay, these are four primitive data types so far I created before you. Now we have the next uh, primitive data types like uh, float, where we can assign some decimal values onto 0.34 F, okay, literal. Then double f is equal to one two three dot four five six. Here also decimal value you can assign, and then uh, we have cat g and single letters. You can give either a character or a number or a symbol. Doesn't matter. Then we have boolean. Either true or false you can assign to this variable. So here a to h are all variables, guys. Okay. Now I'm going to say string i is equal to string literal text, okay? So here when you observe this primitive data types and when you compare this primitive data types with string, the usage looks similar to the primitive data types, right? Uh, here, as if seems like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R variables, they are declared with different primitive data types and according to the declared primitive data types, we have assigned the values to them, okay? Uh, the compatible values to them. But string also, looks like it is declaring some variable and we are assigning some string literal to this variable but here i is not a variable anymore okay it's not a variable case okay it's not like a b c d okay if i say uh let's say if i say a dot a dot you see you will not get any suggestions here but if i say i dot i'm getting a lot of methods predefined methods are coming because these predefined methods belong to the string class okay so if I say a dot, I'm not getting anything. B dot, I'm not getting anything. C dot, I'm not getting anything. D dot, I'm not getting anything. E dot, I'm not getting anything. F dot, I'm not getting anything. G dot, I'm not getting anything. H dot, I'm not getting anything. But if I say I dot, I'll get in. Get a lot of predefined methods, okay, from the Spring class. So Spring is a predefined class in Java. It's not a primitive data type. One more thing I have to explain to uh make it clear for you that string is not a primitive data type rather it is a predefined class is that i can create an object for the string class can i create an object for the primitive data type like for example uh byte uh, a is equal to new byte of uh, can i do something like this can i create an object for the primitive data types you see invalid class type you cannot create an object for the primitive data types okay primitive data types in java are all non-object oriented you cannot create objects for any of these primitive data types but coming to the spring it's not a primitive data type it's a predefined class so i'll prove you that i can create an object for the spring so instead of writing like this uh, i can also write something like this string i is equal to new string of i can create an object 
for the string because string is a predefined class in Java. I can create an object for any class in Java, including string. String is a, a predefined class in Java, which is developed by the Java developers, and uh, they have given us this particular string uh, data type. Uh, I mean, uh, string uh, class as part of the Java library. Okay, here we have the JRE system library, and in that Java library, you see string predefined class belong to Java dot lang. So let's go to Java dot lang here and. Uh, it is part of java.base. In the java.base, we have java.lang. In the java.lang, we have a predefined class known as spring. So we'll find somewhere spring. String is a predefined class. It's not a primitive data type, guys, okay? Uh, system is there. Where is spring? String. This is string.class. It's a predefined class, which is already developed by Java developers, and they have given us the string predefined class as part of the this Java library, okay? But a uh, lot of people get confused because uh, the shortcut representation of the Spring class, okay? If you're actually using the Spring class and, uh, you know, uh, you want to assign some value to this object reference and all, okay? So this is an object reference, guys. I is an object reference. It's not a variable, okay? And uh, I is referring to the memory location where this particular Spring text is stored, okay? In the memory and all for that object, okay? But uh, here... Spring, a lot of people think that it looks similar to the primitive data types and they may get confused like Spring is a primitive data type, but uh, they confuse, okay? But Spring in actual is a predefined class in Java for which you can create an object. For any of these primitive data types, you cannot create an object. For Spring, you can create an object. That proves that Spring is a... And also you can say I dot, you'll get all the predefined methods of the Spring class that also proves that. But there is an there is a, this is an actual representation of the Spring class, okay? But there is a shortcut representation, okay? If you have to do the same thing in a shortcut way, Spring class allows you to do something like this, okay? I don't know to read. It will allow you to do so, okay? This is a shortcut representation, okay? For the same thing. Instead of writing like this, you can also write like this, okay? So since uh, Java allows you to uh, use Spring in this way, a lot of people get confused like Spring is also another primitive data type, okay? But a string is a predefined class in Java. It's not a primitive data type. We only have eight primitive data types in Java. That is byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean are the eight primitive data types we have in Java. And string is a predefined class. Okay. So hope guys you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.